So I just wanted to make a video about the modifications that I've made to my ZMR250. Um, so firstly, I've used spaces, um, three millimeter spaces um, there, there, um, where the flight controller mounts in between there as well, there, there. And I think that adds kind of, um, I guess, a lot more strength this way. And um, yeah, just kind of tighten that up. And um, I think that helps. Um, also, yeah, the screws are fairly long on the version that I've got. So I guess that helps with um, the plates not falling off. And the other thing I've done is actually cut down the arm so it's no longer 250. Uh, basically, these two holes have been drilled and I guess about that much has been cut off the arms. So yeah, they've just kind of come, come in a little bit. So I guess that adds um, a bit of strength as well as making it a bit smaller. Um, so one of the arms has actually broken, this one, and I've just been flying it like that, and it's, you know, it's been okay so far. Um, but that's the only thing I've broken on it so far, but I guess m maybe that means I haven't crashed it hard enough, because I can, I, I understand that that is a reasonably poor design. Um, but when I finally do break an arm, I think I'll probably just, um, because I've got a carbon fibre sheet, so I'll probably just cut myself a new arm. Uh, with a bit, a bit of a stronger design. But apart from that, it's actually been pretty good for me.